Hey guys, this is Kurt. So I have a breakdown. This time it's uh, it's a positive breakdown. I don't want to do all negative breakdowns. Um, but this is a, a, a use of force that happened in Las Vegas. I want to say the mid-2000s. I was actually working with a different agency at the time in the area. And I remember when this went down. And it, it's a uh, police sergeant. And uh, th he actually kind of got a slap on the wrist for it for some reason. His agency's use of force. Uh, all I have to say is with my agency... And as a control tactics instructor myself, I would have deemed that as a, a really good use of force. Um, and I think you'll agree, but maybe you won't. And I'm also going to show some alternatives, things that you could do to soften it up a little bit. Uh, the individual wasn't hurt in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I think the management at the time with his agency just didn't like how it looked on TV. And that shouldn't run policy. So my one word to management uh, at that time with that agency is, shame on you, you're all jerks. Anyway, great use of force. I think you'll all agree. But uh, like I said, that's that's up to you to decide. Again, backstory, this is a fight in progress. Summertime in the Las Vegas area, Las Vegas metro. Uh, normally I don't uh, um, give that kind of information out, but it's going to be plainly obvious to you what agency it is. But anyway, without any further ado... <laughs> Uh, Who are you fighting with? Just off walking to learn about ground source black iron with red hair. Okay. Yeah, he's got a problem. He's losing a little amped up. What's going on? What? Step to the car and take your hands out of your pockets. Take your hands out of your pockets and step up to my car. That's the second time I've asked you. You're making me nervous. Take your hands out of your pockets and step up to my car. Take your hands out of your pockets and Just don't resist. Now put your hands behind your back, or are you gonna get the taser? I'm trying. Put your hands behind your back. All right, guys, so in my system, this would be called an entering throw. Now, you should recognize this language. This body language should be open to you if you're a cop. You should recognize this as pre-assault indicators. <laughs> now, uh, I jokingly say that, but that's exactly what it is. He's, his hand's going off to one side, and a uh, bad guy would be getting ready to throw a sucker punch at you. He's eyeballing the target, and his head kind of sways to one side a little bit, and then he goes in for the takedown. Now, in my system, this would be called an entry throw. Uh, enter entering takedown you see he's got good control of the arm he's got a knee on the side and i would have transitioned to knee on belly or a full uh mount in this position but again guys this was just fine great use of force and remember this is the mid 2000s i don't i mean jujitsu was definitely uh being incorporated into law enforcement but not as much as it is now and uh, you got the knee on the back of the neck we all know that that doesn't look great anymore uh, but he had really good control of the guy. There was no excessive use. The knee wasn't there for very long. It was long enough just to uh, uh, get control of the situation. Uh, nowadays, I recommend going to a rear mount or going to neon belly to a full mount, uh, turning it over with a Kimura. You will see those options, but at the end of the day, Sergeant, super cool. You're the dude. You're the man. And I salute you. You're all American. So, uh, guys, I'm going to show an entering throw from a different approach. Now, I would show it the way I want to show it, but I don't have a training partner right now uh, outside of my regular jiu-jitsu training uh, law enforcement person that I can demonstrate the takedown. He did a, a, an aggressive entry. The only thing I would do a little different is same kind of entry, but more from the side instead of going straight in, more of an angle attack, and you're controlling the back. I call this plan B, but it's an entering throw. Uh, see how I'm adjusting the head? Very similar to what the officer did in the video or the sergeant. Uh, but the big thing is putting the hand on the small of the back because that actually is like a tripping motion. The body will go back because you're controlling the head and the body goes down. A little bit more controlled. And then I can get the arm bar for a wrist lock and uh, take the back if I want to, like in a rear mount. And again, guys, this is slightly different from how the officer did it. I apologize. This is the footage I have to go with right now. But this is a good way to demonstrate the basic entering takedown or entering throw i i prefer to call it takedown uh, the, the throw the, the way it was done 
in the video with the sergeant is there could have been a possibility of the guy's head hitting the ground. I don't think that happened. The guy didn't have any injuries or anything. He was just drunk and stupid. Uh, but see, I, I'm saying this is another variation. I call it the Seagal method where you're just doing the uh, kind of like an entry and throw. Everyone thinks he's stiff arming him with like a, a, a straight arm, but it's more of a motion to take the down. Now, this is, again, a variation of what you can do. It's a uh, elbow crash into the body. It's the elbow shield from an aggressive opponent. Now, guys, you don't have to get someone throwing a punch at you to use the el elbow shield entry. You can proactively, offensively use it. So the officer could have used that as an option. And you see here, I go, so it goes straight to mount, and I'm doing the Americana from the Americana straight to the uh, uh, transition to handcuffing. Again, you don't have to have somebody throwing a haymaker at you like you see in this demonstration. You can proactively use the elbow shield to enter for the takedown. Um, I do it in class all the time. So here it is, boom. Again, doesn't have to be haymaker. This time I get under the elbow and take the back. Here's the knee on belly. I can slide from knee on belly straight into the mount. Position for submission. Here's a variation uh from neon belly to Kimura. Now I don't push them this one as much because it's more technical. But guys, I use the, I'm a Kimura hunter. Uh, that's my favorite technique in jujitsu. Whenever I'm rolling, I'm looking for Kimuras because in my world, law enforcement, the Kimura is a great way to get into handcuffing. So neon belly, you're scooping the arm up, you're turning the body. See, I'm demonstrating that. Now here I am going entering neon belly. Those are distraction slaps. They're not hits. You don't want to hurt anybody. You're just trying to get them their hands up so you can grab the arm. Here I am demonstrating that you switch hands. You get the Kimura grip or the double wrist lock as they call it in catch wrestling. But it's a Kimura grip, thumbless grip. And you just slowly but surely rotate. You don't want to hurt anybody's shoulder. You're just trying to lock them out and control them. And from here you could easily roll them over into a handcuffing position. So I got, went switched, put my knee in the lower back. I could have easily just kept going into a mount. Guys, that pretty much does it. Again, Sergeant, I salute you. You did a terrific job. Uh, my agency, that would have been a perfectly good use of force, especially in that situation. You got a drunk who's already been fighting and is uh, kind of glassed over and not paying attention to the officer. Um, that's what I have to say about it. Your agency might do uh, say something different. And that's a video I'm going to do too. I had another instructor suggest, hey, do a video about agencies that have to work together that have different levels of force or different force continuums. Uh, and that is something that I think is important we should address. I work with several agencies in my area that might have slightly different use of force uh, rules than I do. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And remember, Kilroy was here. I hope you all know what that means. Take care.